The short answer is no. The long answer is complicated. To understand it, we need to look at both sides of the argument. It's always important to check your bias in crypto. Leaning too far to either side will stop you from making logical trading decisions. You wouldn't stay on a sinking boat just because you like the boat. So let's look at both sides. One of the main bearish arguments on Casper has always been the lack of tier 1 exchange listings. It was launched back in 2021 and so far it's not on any of the major tier 1 exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, Crypto.com, and there could be several reasons for that. The most obvious one is Casper just hasn't seen a high enough trading volume yet for it to be worth exchanges listing it, since exchanges earn their money from trading fees. Another problem lies in the fact that Casper is its own layer 1 crypto, which means there's a lot of security checks and audit processes to go through on both the protocol and the coin itself, which for a layer 1 can apparently take up to 8 months, whereas a layer 2, something like Polygon or Starknet, which are both built on the Ethereum network, is able to undergo these audits a lot quicker since they only need to audit the specific coin and not the entire network. The final problem is most major coins will have tokens pre-allocated for exchange listings, but since Casper was a fair launch, that means if exchanges want to list Casper, then they need to either buy coins off the open market or buy them directly from miners in order to have liquidity. And not only is that a big investment for them, it also takes a lot of time. There is some speculation that exchanges have already been buying up large amounts of Casper, but obviously that hasn't been confirmed and it never would be, because then people would just front run the exchanges if they already knew, which would delay the listing even further. So they would try to be as discreet as possible with their buys. And the last thing, of course, the price is still down quite a bit over the last month or so, which is always going to bring the bears out for any crypto. Although we have seen a bit of a reversal developing over the last few days, which we'll get into in just a moment. Now, on the bullish side, of course we still have all the big developments coming up soon, but I've got my own theory which we've already been discussing in a few of my previous Casper videos. I'll go ahead and show you on the charts in a second. Just want to quickly shout out my free Telegram group where we talk about Casper and a load of other crypto related things. I'll leave a link in the pinned comment. Alright, here we are on the Casper chart. I actually haven't touched this chart since the last Casper video, but you can see even with the big market correction due to the conflict in the Middle East, the price action has been playing out pretty much as we expected. I said we'd most likely consolidate between 0.125 and 0.147 and we pretty much did until obviously we had the news event which triggered this correction so we lost the 0.125 level and moved down towards 10 cent and now we've kind of created a new support here at 11 cent although at least for now we have broken above the 0.125 level again so in theory we are back in this range here which means our next target is this level up at 0.139 that I marked out in the last video but the overall structure and my theory still remains completely valid for those of you that haven't seen the previous videos let me quickly quickly go over my theory and show you why it is still valid. In short, we identify the pattern whereby Casper generally has two large waves, followed by some consolidation, usually a third smaller wave, and then we see our next leg upwards. You can see this is all the way back from a couple of years ago. Two big waves, consolidation, small third wave, next leg up, and then you can see it repeats. We have these two large waves. I guess on this one you could argue we saw the third smaller wave before the consolidation, but we did then see that next leg up. So now you can see where I'm going with this. We are currently seeing the two large waves. Well, we have seen the two large waves. Let me get rid of this so you can see it a bit better. Which means in theory we are now in this consolidation period, albeit slightly interrupted by this correction. But apart from that we are consolidating as we should be according to the pattern. Shortly we should see the third smaller wave and then just after that our next leg upwards. And if we were to see that play out right now, that would actually be great timing. Just as Bitcoin's broken back above the 66k level, heading up to 69k again. Of course, from there we will be challenging this all-time high again, up at 63k. And then that puts us in price discovery on Bitcoin. So hear me out, here's the game plan. I think what happens, Bitcoin continues on upwards, breaks above 69k, and then heads up to retest this all-time high, but then rejects back downwards 
onwards towards the 69k level. Now what that does on Casper is it creates this third smaller wave that we're talking about, and then once Bitcoin heads back up and eventually breaks above 73k, that is when we would see our next leg upwards, which as predicted in the previous video would be up towards 25 cent, likely encountering a bit of resistance at 20 cent. Of course, Bitcoin and Casper will both be in price discovery at that point, which means there's no historical data to go off to base our price predictions on. So the best we can do is our nice whole numbers, like 25 cent, 30 cent, these nice psychological milestones. They are going to be our most reliable price targets until proven otherwise. So that's the game plan for now. Those are the two arguments. Of course, do your own research, make your own mind up. If you want a more detailed explanation of that pattern we just showed, go ahead and check out this video, or check out this one on Theta, which is currently in a similar position to Casper when it comes to exchange listings. I've been me, you've been you, thanks for watching, and see you later.